what's up cloud gamers welcome to the cloud gaming extreme channel so in this video we're going to showcase if this 60 dollars smartphone that i bought from walmart can handle cloud gaming some of you guys ask me the question all the time what's the cheapest way of playing cloud gaming and i think i just found a solution so i went to walmart as you can see here in this receipt and i purchased this smartphone the samsung galaxy a01 smartphone for 60 bucks so again today we're going to run it through the test and see if we can run the cloud gaming services and platforms so we're going to look at stadium here we're going to look at geforce now we're going to look at shadow and we also going to look at x cloud so let's get right into this video also if you guys like this video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel it's really helpful so to get started this is the phone here nothing too fancy as you can see here this is a samsung phone right and the display is not the best but it gets the job done it's a 5.7 hd screen is what they call it uh, it has a decent camera it's running android 10.0 but again good enough for cloud gaming right so again we're gonna take a look at these services and see how well these services run so to get started let's open up stadia and just check that out on this device all right, so we have Stadia opened up right here. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna attach it to this GameStar controller grip so we can have a decent experience cloud gaming with this smartphone. All right, so we're gonna look at a game like Red Dead Redemption and just check out the performance here. All right, so here we are with Red Dead Redemption 2. As you can see, this looks pretty decent. There's no hiccup. So this is Red Dead Redemption 2 on a $60 smartphone via Stadia. Alright, so, so you can see this runs really well. The graphics looks really good. So this is a good way for you guys to play a game like Red Dead Redemption, a AAA quality game on a $60 smartphone. Alright, so another game I want to take a look at is Doom Eternal running on Google Stadia. So we're just going to continue from the last place we left off and again just showcase that this can run on a $60 smartphone that you can literally get from Walmart. Alright, so here we are. This is Doom Eternal and again, I'm in a really difficult place but I just want to show you guys that a game like Doom Eternal can run really well on this $60 Walmart smartphone. So I'm at a really difficult location right here, so you guys might see me die. But again, that's not the point of this video. I just want to show you guys that I can be pretty accurate with headshots and get some work done. Okay. Again, not my best performance when it comes to gameplay. But again, that's not the point of this video. All right, so as you guys can see, this is Shadow running on the smartphone. We're going to open up a game like GTA and see how well that runs on the smartphone. All right, so as you guys can see, here, this is GTA 5 running on this smartphone using Shadow. And the cool thing about this is that it works and you have to mess with different settings. But once you do so, you can actually get this to look and run pretty well on the smartphone. But yeah, this is pretty cool to see a game like GTA PC game running on this $60 Walmart smartphone. So just to let you guys know, GeForce Now does not work with this smartphone. So if I had to sideload it through the NVIDIA games app. But when you do so, this is what pops up. It says this version of NVIDIA games isn't supported on your device. So just to let you guys know, if you guys did want to play GeForce Now on this device is not compatible yet and I've tried to install different versions and still ran into that issue but thought I'll give you guys a heads up on that. So the final thing that we're going to test is Game Pass or if you want to call it xCloud running on this device. Alright so here we have it xPass has successfully loaded on this device and we're going to pick a game to play just again to showcase this running on this smartphone so i'm going to pick forza horizon 4 and test this out and see how well this does on this smartphone all right so let's get this going this is again forza horizon 4 running on xcloud 
So the beauty about this is that it does a good job taking advantage of this display because again xCloud only goes up to 720p so this actually is perfect for this smartphone but as you can see this runs really well no hiccups whatsoever and again I feel like this service caters to this smartphone quite well. Okay, so if you guys have any questions as if xCloud works on here, you don't have to question it anymore. For 60 bucks, you can have a good gaming experience with xCloud. All right, fellas. So again, just want to showcase what cloud gaming looks like running on a $60 smartphone. And so sky's the limit with cloud gaming. The beautiful thing about cloud gaming is that you can play it pretty much on most devices. All you need is a decent internet connection and you're good to go. This is just a testament that you can literally pick up a cheap phone for $60 from Walmart and still have a pretty decent cloud gaming experience. I fellas appreciate you guys watching. If you guys think someone else might like this video, please share it. Look through our other videos because we do a lot of tech cloud game videos and comparisons. So if that's something you enjoy, check out our playlist. All right, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, fellas. Peace out.